yes guys welcome back to my channel as you can see we're somewhere a little bit different today so i'm just at the garage um, as you can see as well in the uk it is currently snowing which is not the best so you've obviously clicked on this video because you want some advice you want to be a firefighter you're in the position i was in probably a couple years ago now thinking what can i do to get in the fire service how many times do i have to apply before i can get in should i give up should i do this should i do that so now it's my turn to give you some advice of what i wish i had when i was in your position and if you are new to the channel, my name's Cameron. I'm a firefighter here in the UK. And on this channel, I make videos to almost help you guys that are in the same position that I was in almost two years ago now, getting into the fire service, what you should know, and kind of tips and tricks to kind of help you the best way you can. Now, I'm still getting used to talking on the camera, as you can probably tell. Um, this is not easy. If anyone here has ever tried it, then you know yourself it's not easy. But we're working with it, man. Let's carry on with the video. I actually get loads of messages now from people, like since I've been creating these videos, loads of questions, loads of different questions, especially. Um, but one that always pops up is, how fit do I need to be to be a firefighter? A lot of you guys seem to be very concerned about your fitness and whether you have what it takes to be firefighter fit. Now, if you're not new to the channel, I already presume that you've watched my recent video, which is where I discuss how to train like a firefighter in the actual gym. Um, a bit of a vlog type video similar to this one so if you haven't yet i highly recommend you check that out i'll leave a link to it here on the video so make sure you click it make sure you like the video and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel now fitness is probably one of them things that you don't actually really take seriously until you actually need to take it seriously so in this instance you're applying to be a firefighter you know you've got a fitness test coming up you're worried about your fitness and now suddenly you're thinking oh my god am i fit enough do i do enough in the gym do i do anything at all now talking about fitness one thing that i do highly recommend anybody here watching this even if you don't even want to be a firefighter but you just want to improve your fitness on a day-to-day -day basis um, i actually used a weighted vest when i was training to be a firefighter and it was probably a game changer for me personally um, it helped me massively getting used to carrying weight on your back especially when you're training i think is essential especially to be a firefighter so if you are interested in that i will leave the link in the description make sure that you click the link it'll take you to the amazon website and then from there you can just purchase it as you will as you normally would um, it's about 50 pound i think the vest which realistically isn't a lot of money in terms of if you want to secure this career and you want the best possible chance you've got of passing especially the fitness test then this vest is like a small small investment into your future and it's definitely paid off for me so i'm pretty sure it will work for you as well now obviously i don't know what brigade you are applying for in the uk in the country i don't actually know where you are living at the moment obviously so it's important to note that everything i say is only really in terms of my brigade i know every brigade is slightly the same but also have their slight differences but i am 99 percent sure that all brigades will have some kind of fitness or practical assessment day to get into the fire service a lot of people ask me whether the bleep test is involved um, it wasn't in the brigade that i work for um, you either do the chester treadmill test which you can just google online search chester treadmill test and it will tell you exactly what to do um, so you've got that and there's something called the fire ground fitness test now it's hard for me to explain what the fire ground fitness test is because there's that many components to it as i mentioned earlier if you are concerned about that watch the video that i put up in my recent video where i go over how to train like a firefighter in that video especially i talk about things that will come up on the fire ground fitness test such as things like your equipment carry your pull downs um, kind of your casualty carries especially pulling the casualty backwards um, that kind of stuff is what comes up on that test so make sure that you watch that video if you haven't already. Now, I've only recently been aware that apparently now, um, once you apply to be a firefighter and say, for example, you fail at any point of the, recruit of the recruitment process, sorry, you have to wait um, 12 months, I believe now, 12 months till you can reapply, which is crazy to me. When I applied, it was six months. So I failed twice and I had to wait six months to reapply, which did kind of take a bit of a toll on me, but I suppose if it's something you want that much, you will keep going through it. And that leads me quite nicely onto what I was gonna mention. And this goes to anything in life, really. If there's something out there that you really want, um, you see like this future for yourself, you see this vision in front of you, then you need to go for it. Um, I obviously don't know what that is for you, only you know what that is. If it's being a firefighter especially, then really waiting 12 months is a benefit is a bonus because all right yeah you failed but it doesn't mean that you can never do it again do you know what i mean you can keep reapplying and then within them 12 months say if you do fail within them 12 months you can then work on stuff you can watch my videos take 
what I say, take my advice, write it down, write notes, which is what I talk about in my videos. I actually put icons in the corner where I advise you to take notes and kind of take my advice on. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you do take my advice, um, you will be in a lot better position to apply again in the future, within the next 12 months. Obviously, your brigade may be different. It may be every two years or it may be every three months, or they might not even have a cap on how frequently you can apply once you fail. Now, the last thing I want to mention is kind of your punctuality. Now, I know a lot of you people that are watching this video are probably in school right now. Um, I get a lot of messages from people that are actually under the age of... 18, 17, so you are probably yeah, in school. Yeah, so I'd assume that everyone here knows what punctuality means. Um, so in that case, if you don't, it's kind of um, how you address yourself. So it's things like, do you turn up on time? Are you reliable? Um, do you dress smart? Do you look after yourself? Do you iron your clothes? Kind of things like that, really. How do you come across to other people? How do you present yourself? That's a good word, yeah. How do you present yourself? That's the word I was looking for. Now, this is obviously big in the fire service because it is a uniform service, I suppose. So um, things like polishing your boots, when you get to training school, they will um, expect you to obviously polish your boots, iron your shirt, iron your, sorry, not iron your shirt. We have a polo shirt, but iron your trousers especially. Um, things like that. And definitely, definitely, if you're one of these people that are like late or can't be reliant on, if you say you're gonna be somewhere at seven o'clock and you're there at half seven, and you're always late then that is something that you definitely need to address before you join the fire service so i've actually never been late to work um, i've been close i've been like a couple minutes by the hours in two minutes if i was there two minutes later i probably would have been late but fingers crossed i will never be late um, i've never been late i remember on training school there was somebody that was late um, and i don't think it got the best uh, reception from the instructors because yeah I suppose your lateness and stuff it's like it's day one stuff isn't it like you know what time you're meant to be there if you are worried that you're going to be late then leave 20 minutes earlier get there half an hour earlier do you know what I mean like there's ways to avoid it it means getting out of bed half an hour earlier then so be it so that last point there was just kind of a bit of a bonus point really so yeah punctuality is probably if you're going to take anything from this video I recommend you take that specifically because that's probably the biggest the biggest thing that um that you should take with you and that's something that never leaves you i suppose um, if you always dress like smart you always look after yourself you're never late then that's going to help you in any job that you go into not just the fire service but yeah guys um just a little short video really shorter than usual anyway i think my last video was like 20 minutes long which was just ridiculous but a nice short one for you hopefully you found some value in it if you're new to the channel hopefully you're enjoying the videos and hopefully now you can go back and watch my previous videos because um, i do recommend that you watch them because they're actually really helpful probably more helpful than this one but in the other ones i go into things in more detail um, so yeah definitely watch those if you haven't already if you're not new around here then you obviously know who i am you know where my instagram is you know where my tiktok is um, if you don't follow me on those i'll link them in the description as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel um, as you guys know i'm putting out videos every week um, no matter what so hopefully with the more likes and subscriptions i get the more motivation it gives me to keep doing them because like i always say i don't get paid to do this um, i just come out this my own free time like I'm actually on annual leave at the moment and I've just come out to make this video for you guys. So yeah, that's just what I enjoy doing, helping other people. So hopefully you appreciate that and you can return the favor by liking or subscribing. But yeah, that's a wrap anyway, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.